Hi there. Well, Gortzman's in Toronto, a um, family-owned art supply store, has been hinting at big news. And they announced the big news the other day was that they were carrying these new paints from Japan. They're the same paints used by Studio Ghibli, uh, anime um, uh, production company uh, by their artists. And I just couldn't help but order them to check them out and see what they were like for myself. So I got this little introductory uh, 12 tube set. And let's see what they're like. And they packaged them with some goodies, which was really, really sweet of them. Uh, inside this bag. There's a, a note signed by the team which is really lovely. Again, not expected. Um, we follow each other on Instagram. So I think they, they know me that way. Plus I've had my studio featured on their website. And they added these two little gesso boards, which are rather cute. Let's see, they kind of got a smooth surface to them. And then there's sample paper as well, watercolor paper, which you'll see later. So let's get this open and have a look inside. like that plastic to play with. Supervised, of course. And this comes with a brochure showing the range and the sizes that they come in. Some really pretty colors there. And this is all in Japanese, so I'm not going to read it out to you. My Japanese is extremely limited to a couple of lessons a long time ago. So as expected, uh, the range is pretty standard. Of course, you have a black and a white. Let's watch these out. There they are. Now, I will confess, this is a few days later, and I have already tested them, but I will be doing this for you. I'm going to use it full strength just to show you. how intense that is and how it feels when you're brushing it on like velvet. It really does have a different consistency and that's it, just watered down. It's not textured like um, the Japanese um, gouache but it does have some sort of texture in it that like drags the brush, but in a good way. So let's just put a towel down here. I may have to abruptly stop this video because once again, there's construction work somewhere in the building and it is 
very loud. I'm going to move. Oh, and there's a cat. <laughs> you really have to wash your brush because pigment is really strong. So that is orange. The first one was carmine. Sorry if I'm all over the place. It's just it's my one day that I can do something like this. And now it's become a bit of a noise issue. I'm just squeezing a little bit on to the tip of the brush. It doesn't take much. Like this is This paint would go on forever, it seems. That's the chrome yellow. I haven't even checked to see if it has, no, it doesn't look like it has um, pigment information in uh, English, but that's okay. If professionals at Studio Ghibli use it, then why not me? And now this is the lemon yellow. I've got one arm trying to stop my cat from jumping in. Oh, there's just a little bit of binder at the top, so I'm trying to get a bit more pigment. Okay, so it's lemon yellow, going to chrome green. This is just um, a cheap watercolor um, sketchbook by Canson. Really try to dry that brush out so it really shows how much or how little you need of this paint. Like look at that. That's barely anything on that brush. This one's a little bit thicker so it's not as easily. She goes again. <laughs> and this is such a beautiful blue. It's a cerulean blue. Even slightly watered down, it's pretty, pretty intense. I'm sorry if I keep saying that, but these are very intense. 
colors. Okay, and now this is cobalt blue. It's a little bit thicker. Let me prepare the white for you. It's just Sharpie. And next is Cobalt Violet. Okay, just a little bit. Goes a long way. These are 20 mil um, tubes. This is burnt sienna. Again, there's a little bit of binder at the top. When you put these out onto a palette, they would be able to mix that a little bit better. And then finally, black. we have the white. Yeah, I'm actually going to use a round brush for this one. This is a dry brush. And there's a little tiny bit of binder at the top, but it does do pretty good coverage. And that's it. That's that set of 12, the little introductory set of poster color by Knicker. They're carried, I believe, exclusively uh, at Wurtzman's in Toronto, but they do ship uh, across Canada, and some things are shipped um, to the States. I'm not sure about this because of, um, I know some things coming in from Japan, like Holbein products, there's issues about um, what can cross borders and things like that, but this is pretty impressive. I wasn't sure how different it would be from gouache but it does have different properties. And I'll show you. So this is, I tested out on that Canson uh, hot press paper. So that's a little bit smoother than this um, 
This is the Montval uh, Canson watercolor book. So this is cold press, although this still does have quite a bit of a texture. Anyways, this is them dried and they're very, very, very matte. Um, almost like you would think that it's almost like chalk, but it's not. It's completely dry, but it's completely matte and really intense. You can see that's full strength and then watered um, around it. Look at that green. That's pretty. And that, that purple. <laughs> like just, this is one of my favorites. It's cerulean blue. So for now, they are available as sets at Gordsman's. Um, I guess if they prove successful that you'd be able to buy them uh, individually. And there are 66 colors in the in the range and they come in these little uh, either these tubes 20 mil or the 40 mil um, bottles which I think someone pointed out are plastic so you don't have to worry so much about them being shipped so I will continue to use these and I might be using them for these little um, little shots of things in the city that I've been selling and are up on my on my website. Now these are mostly uh, gouache or pasca or a combination. They're all mixed media. I haven't used these yet for them, but I will be soon. So that's it for today and um, go over to that website to Wordsman's and check out what they have. They have some really unusual um, art supplies, very all across the range, but they have some beautiful high-end um, products from Italy and uh, Japan. And yeah, you won't be sorry if you go over there. Okay, thanks so much. And look, no noise. So I've made it through. <laughs>